On the eve of destruction comes the possibility for peace. Porter, impulse power! Two months ago, a Federation starship monitored an explosion on the Klingon moon, Praxis. They will have depleted their supply of oxygen in approximately 50 Earth years. To offer Klingons safe haven within Federation space is suicide. They're animals, Jim. They're dying. Let them die. You, Captain Kirk, are to be our first olive branch. Me? Chancellor, we've been ordered to escort you through Federation space to your meeting on Earth. Would you and your party care to dine this evening for the Enterprise with my officers? We would be delighted to accept your gracious invitation. Guess who's coming to dinner? Well, I hope you're happy. Energize. is the source of that prejudice is the fear of change and what that change will bring to the individual i have so wanted to meet you captain from one warrior to another right proposing peace between the two longtime adversaries presented the filmmakers with one of their greatest challenges when we sat down at the table to shoot this scene I thought to myself, this is really different. Just the look of it. All of these Federation people, all of the Enterprise people on one side of a very long table, sitting at dinner with a bunch of Klingons on the other side of the table, and trying to carry on congenial conversation. <laughs> I offer a toast. The undiscovered country. Think it parallels a great deal of what's going on today in this universe and um, a more or less a, a quest for peace. General, are you fond of Shakespeare? It's a bit of a pill to take. And we're not quite sure we're going to be able to wash it down with Romulan ale. <laughs> What's happened? We have fired on the Chancellor's ship. Torpedo uh, uh, You do not a shred of decency. We come in peace, and you blatantly defy that peace. We haven't fired. According to our data banks, we have. I shall blow you out of the stars. It will not be the instigators of full-scale war on the eve of universal peace. This is Captain Sulu, USS Excelsior. We stand ready to assist you. There is also the coming together of our, if you will, delusion about people that were different from us. Captain, they're coming about. Incoming. I think the audience will be guessing right until the end as to who the culprits are. To me, a, a film is entertaining if it has people hanging onto their seats, and that's what they're going to be doing in this film. Orchestrating the action is director and co-writer Nicholas Meyer, who performed the same duties on Star Trek II and co-wrote Star Trek IV. Like the best science fiction, Star Trek doesn't really show us other worlds so well or so effectively as it shows us our own. Let's slip the dogs of war! 